Good evening from San Ignacio Town. With the 9 o'clock news, I am Patrick Jones. In the headlines, Belize Territorial Volunteers leader says no work is being done on forward operating base. U.S. State Department issues travel advisory for Belize and a mother and her young child reported missing in Belize City. Stay tuned for details of these and other stories coming up after these messages. The Belize Botanic, Botanic Gardens, Gardens shop, located, located at number 37 West Street in San Ignacio Town, offers a variety of plants and organic products for all your horticulture needs. Come check out our flowering and ornamental plants, different palm varieties, heliconias and fruit tree seedlings to name a few. The shop also has in stock organic fertilizers and we carry a variety of natural personal care products such as soaps, lotions and shampoos. We also sell local organic products such as cassava bread, cassava starch and plantain flour. The Belize Botanic Gardens shop is open Tuesdays to Fridays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Call the Belize Botanic Gardens shop at telephone numbers 824-3101 or 671-3322 or come by number 37 West Street to purchase all your horticulture products today. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. Indigenous Production presents to you Ras India. It's true. One of a kind. One of a kind. One of a kind. Available in stores worldwide. There ain't no wonder. There ain't no wonder. Big love from London. We love the album. I was living in Ethiopia. I'm from Mexico and I love this one of a kind city. We love one of a kind. Big up Ras India from Belize. I'm here from Australia, Big up Brazil, one of a kind. I'm Angel, I'm from Canada, Alberta, and I love this new city. Download it on Amazon and iTunes now. Available in stores countrywide. Here now is the news in details. We begin tonight with two reports of missing persons, one here in Ikayo district and the other two in Belize city. In the one closer to home, a 19-year-old man from Suchitan, Melchor de Mencos, Guatemala, went to the police station in Benquevejo del Carmen on Monday morning to report that his mother came to Belize earlier in the month and the family has lost contact with her. According to the man, 39-year-old Lydia Janet Garcia Hiron came to Belize on January 8th with a final destination of Banana Farm 16 in Cowpen Village in the Stan Creek District. According to Garcia's son, his mother was in the company of a man known only as El Nica. The son told the police that the last communication he had with his mother was around 5.30 on the morning of Friday, January 8th, when she was in San Ignacio town. Lydia Janet Garcia Hiron is described as a standing 5 feet 9 inches tall, of clear complexion, straight reddish hair, and brown eyes. The last time she was seen, Garcia was wearing a black blouse, sky blue long jeans pants, and a pair of black sandals. Police investigations continue. The second person reported missing is a 17-year-old girl and her 14-month-old baby. Police today sent out a bulletin asking the public to be on the lookout for Malika Parshu and her baby Ethan Parshu. Police say that Parshu was reported missing by her mother and that the last time the teenager and the baby were seen was on Wednesday of last week. 
At the time, Malika was wearing blue short jeans pants and a brown and green blouse and a pair of black tennis. Malika Parshu stands 5 feet tall and weighs about 125 pounds. She is of dark complexion and has her hair in braids. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Malika Parshu and her baby Ethan is asked to call the nearest police station. The leader of the Belize Territorial Volunteers, Will Mejia, is reporting that there is no ongoing work at the site where the forward operating base is to be built at the mouth of the Sarstoon River. Viewers will recall that ground was broken in the area last month, at which time the Minister of National Security, John Saldivar, announced that construction of the facility, which will be used by the Belize National Coast Guard and the Belize Defense Force, was scheduled to be completed by the end of the first quarter of this year. In a Facebook post today, Mejia writes that the BTV went to check on the status of the construction of the base this past weekend, but that they did not find even a piece of construction material on the site. Mejia reports that there was not even anyone on the site. He did note, however, that within minutes of the arrival of his group in the area, the Guatemalan military showed up. The murder of American national Anne Sweeney late last week continues to be the subject of news reports in the United States, particularly in her native Chicago, Illinois. Today, the U.S. State Department issued an advisory to American nationals telling them to be cautious and alert while visiting Belize. As we have reported previously, the body of 39-year-old television executive producer and Sweeney was found floating in the Mopan River last Friday morning. An autopsy concluded that she had been strangled. The State Department's uh, advisory asks American visitors to Belize to avoid parts of Southside Belize City due to gang activities and to remain cautious and alert when visiting border areas of the country. The advisory further says that U.S. citizens should exercise caution and good situational awareness in all their travel activities, such as traveling in groups and only during daylight hours. You are watching the 9 o'clock news. We will have more of the day's stories for you right after these messages. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. The Belize Tire Depot, your one-stop destination. What you will find is a first-class selection of solid, dependable, quality products from the names you can trust. We carry a full line of urea and Shortec tools and equipment to meet every need, from light maintenance around the house to heavy-duty fieldwork. Our tire workshop features the full array of Pirelli, Nexon, and Nankang tires for every vehicle and any terrain. Our trained technicians' number one priority is to ensure you and your family's safety and security on the road. It's all here at the Belize Tire Depot. From reliable equipment, world-class time-tested tires, to sturdy, durable tools, merchandise that's built to last with quality guaranteed. The Belize Botanic Gardens shop, located at number 37 West Street in San Ignacio Town, offers a variety of plants and organic products for all your horticulture needs. Come check out our flowering and ornamental plants, different palm varieties, heliconias, and fruit tree seedlings to name a few. The shop also has in stock organic fertilizers and we carry a variety of natural personal care products such as soaps, lotions, and shampoos. We also sell local organic products such as cassava bread, cassava starch, and plantain flour. The Belize Botanic Gardens shop is open Tuesdays to Fridays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
Call the Belize Botanic Gardens shop. Our telephone number is 824-3101 or 671-3322. Or come by number 37 West Street to purchase all your horticulture products today. Welcome back to the 9 o'clock news. Police in Belmopan have arrested and charged one man following a shooting incident. Byron Zuniga reported to authorities that on Friday of last week, he was at a bar on Cemetery Road in Belmopan when he was beaten and later shot with a pellet gun. Belmopan police have since arrested and charged the 23-year-old Arlen Padilla for the crimes of attempted murder, grievous harm, and the use of deadly means of harm. Belize City Police have removed a powerful weapon from the streets and have arrested and charged two persons. Authorities say that around 8.45 last night, they were conducting mobile patrol on Holy Emmanuel Street when they noticed a vehicle speeding off as they approached. A pursuit of the vehicle by the police ended on Gibson Street. When the police caught up with the vehicle, the occupants, two 19-year-old men, were apprehended. A search of the vehicle turned up a bag containing a 9mm Taurus brand pistol with a magazine containing four live rounds. Police subsequently arrested Strad Stradney Casasola and Demre Lewis for the offenses of keeping a firearm and ammunition without a gun license. The police's strike team conducted operations on the south side of Belize City between Friday of last week and Monday of this week. During the operation, they were able to find and remove a .38 revolver in the vicinity of Reggae Street, 50 live rounds of 9mm rounds in the Lakeview area, along with two magazines, 58 grams of cannabis on Vernon Street, 147 grams in the Crawl Road area, eight small parcels in the Conchal Bay area, and a black plastic bag on Curacao Street containing 774 grams of cannabis. All were taken and deposited as found property. The news on the national channel. The Belize Botanic Gardens shop, located at number 37 West Street in San Ignacio Town, offers a variety of plants and organic products for all your horticulture needs. Come check out our flowering and ornamental plants, different palm varieties, heliconias, and fruit tree seedlings, to name a few. The shop also has in stock organic fertilizers and we carry a variety of natural personal care products such as soaps, lotions and shampoos. We also sell local organic products such as cassava bread, cassava starch and plantain flour. The Belize Botanic Gardens shop is open Tuesdays to Fridays from 9am to 4pm and on Saturdays from 8am to 3pm. Call the Belize Botanic Gardens shop. Our telephone number is 824-3101 or 671-3322 or come by number 37 West Street to purchase all your horticulture products today. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www.mitv.bz to get easy access to 25 channels, no matter where you are. 
With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. More vehicle owners are switching to the PureGuard line of motor oils and with good reason. PureGuard comes in different grades and specifications. It carries the API certification and comes with the Westrack stamp of approval, guaranteed to make your engine run cleaner and longer, up to 10,000 miles. With PureGuard motor oil, your engine will have less wear and tear, give you maximum performance on the road, and give your vehicle better fuel mileage. PureGuard, good quality, affordable oil. Distributed exclusively by West Track Limited, with branches in Spanish Lookout, Belmopan, Belize City, and Orange Walk Town. Indigenous Production presents to you Last India. It's true. One of a kind. One of a kind. One of a kind. Available in stores worldwide. There ain't no wonder. I'm here from Australia, Big Up Brasilia, one of a kind. Boom. I'm Angel, I'm from Canada, Alberta, and I love this new city. Bondowa, Oyang Long, Bundai Zai Jong, Zichi. Bye, no. Downloading on Amazon and iTunes now. Available in stores countrywide. The final segment of the news tonight is a look at the weather. It shows that cool and relatively moist conditions are affecting the country. The general forecast for Belize and her coastal waters is for mostly cloudy skies tonight, becoming generally isolated tomorrow morning. Winds over the open sea and along the coast will be northerly to northeasterly at 10 to 20 knots. The sea state will be moderate. Low temperatures tonight will be around 68 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast, 64 degrees Fahrenheit inland, and 61 degrees Fahrenheit up in the hills. High temperatures on Wednesday will be around 75 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast, 77 degrees Fahrenheit inland, and 70 degrees Fahrenheit up at the higher elevations. The tides. A low tide occurs at 26 minutes past midnight. A high tide follows at 17 minutes past 8 o'clock, also in the morning. The sun will rise at 26 minutes past 6 o'clock in the morning. It will set at 20 minutes to 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. The extended forecast, valid through to Thursday afternoon, is for partly cloudy skies with generally isolated showers. And that is a look at the weather with information provided by forecaster Ronald Gordon at the Belize Weather Bureau. To summarize the news, here are the main points again. Belize Territorial Volunteers Leader says no work is being done on forward operating base. U.S. State Department issues travel advisory for Belize and a mother and her young child are reported missing in Belize City. With the headlines, we end this edition of the 9 o'clock news. Thank you for joining us. I am Patrick Jones. Have a good evening and a good night.